Hi everyone, welcome back. What I read as a comment below a couple of videos is that some of you would be interested in seeing how to set up Laravel Homestead. And I thought this would be a great idea to make a video about too. So the roadmap for this video and the next videos is that in this video I will explain what Laravel Homestead is. In the next video we will install it and in the last video I will dive a little bit deeper into how to configure it and how we can use it and how we can adjust it to our needs. So what is Laravel Homestead? Laravel Homestead in the end is a box for Vagrant. And now what is Vagrant? Vagrant is a virtual machine provisioning service. And what is this? Well, a virtual machine basically is a computer running on your computer, to put it simply. It has its own operating system, it has its own resources, um, which are assigned to this virtual machine. And we may use it like a, well, like a computer, like our laptop, for example, just that it runs inside our main operating system, our main machine. And we can use virtual machines for many tasks because, well, we have this clear separation and we can try out things there that won't, well, destroy our main computer because if we mess something up, well, we just finish, we shut down the virtual machine and start up a new one, for example. Now, this is the point where Vagrant comes in. If we start up a virtual machine, if we create one, we have to, well, install the operating system, Linux, for example, and we also, if we want to use it for web development, we have to install PHP, a web server, MySQL, we have to configure everything and so on. The job Vagrant does here is that it allows us to kind of define a basic configuration, so-called boxes, which include the operating system and a couple of other programs like, for example, a web server like Apache or Nginx, or a PHP interpreter that are already installed on that. And using Vagrant, we can then quickly start up new virtual machines that use this default configuration. And that, of course, has the great advantage that if we shut down a virtual machine and start a new one, it is exactly the same as the last one was. And for web development, this is, of course, great. Because we can either use one virtual machine per project, though that will take up quite some space on your computer, or we have one virtual machine for all our projects, but nonetheless, if we say want to shut it down to free up resources or whatever, then, well, we can just restart it with the same settings as before. Now, that being said, of course, while destroying, shutting down the virtual machine, data in the database and so on will be lost. However, it is possible, and this is where Homestead also comes in, to, well, configure, for example, which databases we want to have when starting up our virtual machine. And using Laravel migrations, then, for example, we can quickly well, get the database back into the state it was before for our development purposes. So this is the advantage that we have this clear separation from our development environment, the configurations, the server config and so on we need for that, and our local computer, our laptop or whatever, that we don't have to spoil our own machine with a couple of different web servers or whatever, and we have the separation. Also, it's quickly possible to, well, use other pre-configured boxes, so other boxes than Homestead, to get other features like another web server or the same web server with a different configuration. And this is really powerful. So this is Vagrant. Now, as I already said, Homestead is just a box, a bundled configuration, so to say, which Vagrant can use to set up a certain machine which uses the software Laravel Homestead comes with. And what is the software? Let's have a look at the official Laravel page and there the Homestead section. Now, as you see there, what we do have is this software, Ubuntu 1404 as the operating system, Git, PHP 7, Nginx as a server, MySQL, and a bunch of other useful software. And this is, of course, great because this is a perfect web development environment out of the box, <laughs> literally. So this is really great. Now, the question is, how do we set all these things up? 
and this will be targeted in the next video.